I mean, we can look at the fact that, we can look at the fact that, oh, he was a creep, he was this, he was that, but don't you think we should look at the fact that how he managed to go from point A to point B and eventually get the um, home run? And can, should we also look at the fact, or should we also beg the question or present the question if a black man could have done that? Would a black man been able to do that? Even reach home base. Reach as far as going into the same hotel room with this, um, with Miss Susie Jow. Hell no. Another example. Uh, um, the Las Vegas massacre shooter. She probably knew that nigga was crazy. But she didn't give a damn. As far as she was concerned, he had a lot of money. He was he was a simp because he gave her that money. And she took that money and took her ass right back to her native uh, country of the Philippines. She took that money and boned out. While he decided to go out literally with with a bang. So that really ought to tell you that these these Asian women who get with these type of white guys are fully aware that these motherfuckers crazy. They don't care. You on the other hand, black man, this dude for all we know, he could have been an IT te technician. He could have been a software engineer. Because he definitely looked like a square. He definitely looked like somebody who probably did some shit like that. Because like I said, I'm running the niggas like this. And I and I don't have any remorse for the motherfucker. Because like I said, y'all, these, these motherfuckers. I can sometimes, like I said, I can understand the female when she's assessing what kind of man she ought to fuck with. And she look at uh, Norbit. Norbit's ass or the Nutty Professor's ass or Steve Urkel's ass and I you're like yeah she you know, like nah dude no 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 I already know I'm like dude you are the fact that you don't know why she ain't fucking with you like that is the reason why she ain't <laughs> the Let me say that again. <laughs> the fact <laughs> I can't even get it on down in this motherfucker. <laughs> the fact that you don't even know why she don't fuck with you like that is the reason why she don't fuck with you. <laughs> But haven't we, but I mean, have we noticed, haven't we noticed this yet? The white man, Asian woman dynamic is clearly real. It's for real, for real. Pinkerton syndrome is real. And I'm not saying this lady had it because like I said, she was married to an Asian dude. And to me, I was like, it had been so long since I had seen an Asian woman actually married to an Asian dude. That I was like, damn, that still happens? And I submit to you that this white man whom this Asian woman chooses doesn't even have to be... He doesn't even have to be rich. He doesn't even have to have a full set of teeth. People, I've, I'm not telling you what I've heard from the great... No, I'm telling you what I've seen with my own two eyes. The class of white men that Asian women will pick. All the while looking at your black ass and you ain't even stepping to her. You don't even have yellow fever. Because how many times have I told y'all that I have brown fever? 
if we gonna be talking about Asian fetish, in, in my case, I'm, I mean, if if I had to choose a, a group of Asian women to fuck with, do you really think, do you really think that I'm going to go to a place like China? Or am I going to go to a place like India? Even though, yeah, I said what I said about India. Cause, and the thing about it is, there was a point in my life where I rated Indian women as being some of the most beautiful women on earth. There was a point when I believed that shit. Because even, you know, despite despite the um, caste system and whatnot, which still goes on to this day, I still maintain that, you know, Indian women are some, I mean, something they can get pretty bad. And unlike, uh, unlike Hispanic women, they tend to be far more intelligent. <laughs> So that's something that can, I mean, if you can get, but uh, I, I digress from that point, but I mean, don't take my word for it. I mean, I can tell you plenty of times I've seen Indian women working as nurses and, um, no, well, not even nurses, as doctors. I take that back. As doctors, I can't tell you how many times. I've seen Hispanic women, you know, as doctors, you know, in the same, you know, with the same kind of frequency. See, a lot of people swear that I'm, you know, on some racist shit, and I just be telling y'all, I just tell y'all like it is. What it, I tell y'all what it is like it is. And I'm here to tell you that as a black man... <clears throat> The likelihood of you... Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, the likelihood of you... Um, and it's not to say that it can't happen, but... I mean, it's like I said, it's a blue moon chance. You have a better chance winning the lottery. I mean, for those of, for those of you who have... Um, yellow quote unquote yellow fever look i got brown fetish i i got a thing i I've, I've had a thing for latinas thick big old big booty brown skin latinas that's my thing that's my fetish and see i kind of resent that shit i really do resent the fact that because of whatever weird dynamic that's been going on between black men and Asian women that I'm going, y'all just going to put me into a, a category as being one of these. And you've seen it. Hell, they've shown it on movies like, uh, on Full Metal Jacket where you got like, they got some Asian thought that they all getting ready to bang up. And then the black dude shows up like, yeah, hey, baby, let's get set up. I mean, it, they put, they put this shit in all kinds, they just like they put it in, um, they uh put it in. I mean, the the movies, these shows and these movies are to show you. They always put in this thing of this black man who's just lusting after some Asian girl. We saw in, in uh, Gran Torino, some little itty bitty, no booty, no titty, lady boy looking ass Asian girl. And you got the brother like, hey, what this week? Uh, yeah, look at this little Asian honey. I'm like, I'd be like, bitch, you look like a boy. You look like you look like a little bitty ass teenage boy. You look like a transvestite. If you don't get your little and give me some of that. Big old titty, big old booty, brown. 
And see, that's my thing. That's something that I had to learn to squash. Because nine times out of ten, you know, Latinas ain't really choosing up. And when they do choose up on brothers, it's almost like the black woman dynamic where they just want to thug. So I guess I ain't hard enough. I ain't hood enough. Because like I said, you ain't you ain't getting too many brains from this Latina. You just not. Just like you ain't from the black woman. So of course she wants a rude boy. She wants a bad boy. Like, I mean, you have to treat them as such. You have to treat them just like you would the black woman. They like thug niggas. And you see that out here. I see more black men with Latina women. I mean, every blue moon, you'll see them with an Asian girl. And when you do see them with an Asian girl, they're usually Southeast Asian. They coming from Thailand, Cambodia, Philippines, somewhere in Southeast Asia. They're not coming from China, dude. That's, I mean, I'm telling you, that's just not happening. But, uh, yeah, the media has gone out of its way to create this dynamic between black men and Asian women where the dynamic is we up here trying to get us some Asian punani. And, uh, because, you know, China actually uh, created a commercial a couple years back about this dude trying to kiss all up on this Chinese, I mean, basic looking ass Chinese girl. And she gonna um, stuff some... Uh, laundry detergent in his mouth shove him in a uh, washing machine sit on the washing machine and then he comes out as a Chinese dude and she's just in that at that point she's just enamored at that so what I mean I mean that telling you that telling you where you where we stand with them as far as they're concerned we're tainted and they are obsessed with whiteness. So all I'm saying is maybe as men, especially black men, we maybe we shouldn't just put ourselves in, you know, certain awkward positions. Maybe we shouldn't do that shit, especially with a group of people who've shown historically throughout. I mean, there's nothing new to this shit. There's nothing new to this. Hell, if I'm going to fetishize a group of Asian women, I'd rather do it. I mean, I'd rather deal, like I said, Indian women, Arab women. Because to at least to an extent they low key fetishize us back, but you gonna go after a race of women who who really just don't fuck because their whole culture is premised upon anti blackness. Why would you even do that? Why would you even make a fool out of yourself like that, dude? Oh, that's right. Because you probably have yellow fever. You probably do. And you make all of us look bad. You got all of us looking like we got some yellow fever. And I'm here to tell you, not all of us have yellow fever. That shit gets frustrating sometimes. Because I'm sick and tired of being categorized as this... We, I mean, we already seen as a bunch of sex-hungry dogs who can't wait to run up on in any race of women, for that matter. But you gonna you gonna put me in a category where I'm up here lusting after the most ladyboy looking ass of females of all the planet. I mean, I'm talking about it could be, it could have been. I'm like of all the females on this planet, it could have been the big booty Brazilians, the big booty Latinas. Dark skinned, big booty African women. Big booty European women. German women. Hell, I dare even say British women to an extent, the tall ones. Because that's my thing. I got a thing for tall females. 
I'm like, of all the females that I could get out here and be seen as fetishizing, you gonna put me up with a five foot four? Come on now, let's just look at this. Let's look at the optics of this. You gonna put me up, have me lusting after a five foot four bifocals wearing? No titty having, no booty having, dog breath smelling, sofa smelling, Chinese woman who has the audacity to hold her nose whenever she's around black folks. Can I just call it what it is? Can I just call it what it is? Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of looking at this, to be honest. So what I would tell them, and not that I could tell them, because motherfuckers are like, you can't tell them nothing. They think they know everything. But if I could get through the bro get to the brother, I would tell them, just know the optics of your situation, dude. It's just like with me. I would love to smash on Latina. I would love to do that. And I think I have more access in closer access to them than I ever would in any woman who, you know, a race of women that I'd love to smash on too. But that's just not realistic. Neither or case. Now, the Latina might be realistic, but even then, that's that's pretty dangerous. I, I look at them, I look at that as pretty dangerous. So I've, I've had to learn to just, you know, squash the whole idea of you know, as far as the likelihood of getting with a Latina, it's probably not going to happen. And the finer they are, the less, the less the likelihood. My reality, based on my experiences, my best chance with a female probably is coming out of somewhere like Germany. And that's perfectly fine with me. Give me my tall, lanky, big booty, blonde hair, blue eyed, Helga and Heidi any time of the day. Because like I said, as black men, we don't have a lot of options. We just don't. And maybe that ain't necessarily a bad thing. Maybe it ain't. And if it is, or if all else fails, hey, there's always the red pill. There's always MGTOW. And I would also tell him that somebody like him, maybe you should look into the red pill instead of offering, <laughs> offer, <laughs> this nigga gonna offer, a, uh, of all the simpish lame game that I've seen, this nigga gonna give him, oh, hey, baby, here's my business card. What was you what was you trying to do? Demonstrate high value? Oh look, I got a hell. Anybody can have a business card. Hell, maids have business cards. <laughs> like I said, man, she ain't fucking with you like that, dude. She will and I'm I, I will submit to you that this Asian woman will take a homeless white man off the street and dong him down or get donged down by him before she'll fuck with you <laughs> that's just what it is so if you understand the optics of that why would you even waste your time with somebody who will willingly sleep with the lowest of the low based off the fact that he's white you can pin you can pit me up with a white boy who's off the street, been in and out of jail, got tattoos all over. I'm basically a white thug. Whereas with me, like, let's just say the stereotypes switched up, which would be true in my case because I'm not a thug. I don't have tattoos and I haven't, I've never been to jail a day in my life. Whereas, and actually, I'm a college graduate. Whereas, you, let, let's say you take some white boy who basically has lived out every single stereotype this society has for black people. Been in and out of jail. Got tattoos all over his face. 
committed a plethora of crimes. Just off the default of his whiteness, she'll fuck with him before she ever would with me. So why am I even wasting my time with something like that? Or anyone for that matter who thinks like that. Because I'm pretty sure the other races of women will too. We are no black. Oh, the bed wench? Please. You know black women love seeing the nigga. I mean, any black, I mean, white dude going yo, 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 he ain't even got to do much. He ain't got to do half as much as we do when it comes to showing how quote unquote black we are. All he has to do is quote a couple of Eminem lyrics, couple of vanilla ice lyrics, and he's in. So this is this message isn't so much for him, because like I said, a nigga like that, you can't, he's hopeless. You can't tell that nigga nothing. Because you think you know everything. But this is a lesson for us black men. Because again, this is another situation that has made us look bad. It's set us back. But then again, what isn't setting us back? As far as making us look bad. I mean, society and the world across goes out of its way to make us look bad. So what else is new? But, um... This just... This, I mean, we can still learn from this hilarious, uh, <laughs> I mean, this hilarious scene, which is basically don't simp for any woman, don't give your strength to a woman, nor thy ways, which destroy of kings, as it says in the Bible. Don't simp for women, especially Asian women of all women. Because, I mean, history has shown us that they just don't fuck with us like that. And even though, you know, trying to get with a Latina would probably be a needle in a haystack, that's... that's a chance that I would take far sooner. If I had to choose between a Latina a Latina woman and an Asian woman to court, I'm picking that Latina woman hands down. I'm not even going to look at that Asian unless she just happens to come from, like I said, Southeast Asia or South Asia. And even South Asia, India, oh no, 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 no. Like I said, Indian women are beautiful. They are very beautiful. And the, um, and uh, uh, for lack of better words, bodacious. Got got them some big old brown booties. I love that shit. And just imagine out here, where damn near all the females out here got some big old booties. But for me to court that, uh uh, nope. I I'll, I'll, I'll risk the Latina. I'll, I'll risk it every single time, because again, I understand the optics. I'm not wasting my. I'm not wasting my time trying to deal with, because again, I mean, the whole yellow fever is probably based on the fact that she's yellow, because this Asian woman, I mean, and come on now, it's black men, you know we love some big old titties and some big old woody, so what the hell are we doing chasing after this, I mean, you know what I'm saying, this bifocal wearing, I mean, now, if we talking about, now, we talking about Cam a woman from a female from Cambodia or Thailand. Now we talking about something. Because, like I said, Southeast Asian women tend to get thick. And they, those women do tend to fuck with brothers. I've seen, I have seen, like I said, um, not in person, but like on, um, on YouTube, a lot of Cambodian women apparently fuck with brothers. Which is cool. And they, and they thick like a motherfucker. They know what we like. So with that said, why are we? What are we doing going after? Man, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at that.
But yeah, I'm I'm sick and tired of looking at this bullshit because it's just that it's some bullshit. Yeah, I can keep on going on and on, but uh, my bus is about to show up, so I'm gonna just get on this bus and leave it at that. But I, I had to address this because it's it's time, man. A lot of things that have been going on and they've gone unaddressed. It's time. If there was a dynamic going on that black men got a thing for Ethiopian girls or got a thing for uh, just some shit that you know just isn't true, but yet that's the narrative, I would be like, it, at some point, we're going to have to call this bullshit out. Because last time I checked, last time I checked, black men ain't really going after after I don't know like pygmy pygmy women like that last time I checked that just that shit just ain't happening but here we go again running into this narrative that we up here just lusting and just going after skinny itty bitty titty white women and skinny itty bitty titty Asian women to which I say bullshit. I call bullshit on all that. But this dude is really making us look bad because he's he's helping perpetuate that stereotype. And I'm here to tell you, that may be one that might be one in a million of black men trying to go after this skinny itty bitty titty lady boy having ass Asian woman. And that that just ain't the case with most of them. And I think a lot of y'all know that y'all just insist on perpetuating this bullshit stereotype so to, to which i'm gonna go ahead and end this video but i'm gonna say this again learn the optics of all this shit so that you ain't embarrassing us as a whole all right i'm out